So did y'all know that there are eight different types of love? Yeah, neither did I. So let's talk about it. people it's your girl Shani here you little big sis because I might be small in stature but I am big on the sisterly love I am hugging you from afar hopefully you feel it and welcome back to this week's edition of always keep the faith Fridays where I do my best to take you from your Friday and your work week with a little gem a little motivation heading you into your weekend which we all know Friday is my favorite day of the week and your girl just loves a weekend, okay? I don't know what it is. Even if I have to work on a weekend, I love a weekend. There's just something about Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There just is. Anywho, I digress. If it's your first time being able to check out my show and to check out my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you will choose to join the Faith Fam. You can definitely subscribe and hit that notification button so you know anytime that I have a new episode. And also feel free to connect with me. Follow me on all things social media at Shanice Speaks Now. And I'm very, very excited because this year, this is also a podcast. So for some reason, you cannot have the opportunity to get on YouTube and watch and see my face and see the animations that are going on you can listen to me on my podcast Shani Speaks Now the podcast on all places where you will listen to podcasts and be sure that if you like it that you rate it because that allows more people to find it and you know your girl is trying to be found I mean technically I was already found but never mind you get the point you know what I'm talking about Anywho, we are still in the month of February, and even though Valentine's Day, by the time you see this, is probably gonna be gone, because I think it's on like a random day of the year. Um, throughout the week, I should say, not the random day of the year, on the 14th of each year. However, I still am very captivated just by the idea of love. Even more so, the fact that there are different types of love. And like I said in the teaser, I did not know there were eight types of love. So we just, we making up new, new types of love. Like I remember learning about four types of love, um, which, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about, but definitely not eight. But even more than that, one of the things that I really, really, really loved growing up was this song, Real Love, by one of my favorite artists, Mary J. Blige. Um, and it's interesting to think about her concept of what real love was at the time, opposed to love in general. Now, I am no love doctor. I am no matchmaker. Um, I just love love and love all things love and love to be loving. Um, but I thought it'd be a cool conversation, especially during this month, just to talk about different types of love. So stick with your girl. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. So growing up, I loved Mary J. Blige. I still love her, but she was literally the first artist that I remember like choosing as like my favorite artist. I think I was in fourth or fifth grade um, when her song Real Love came out. I wish that I could actually play it for you, but I don't want them problems with YouTube. But I'll probably play a little bit of the video so you can kind of see it. And if you've never heard it, I, maybe I'll link the video um, in my bio, we'll see, or not in my bio, in the comments, we'll see. I don't know how do I wanna get, but you know, I'll share a little bit of it. So the chorus of it goes, real love, uh, uh, hey. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free, real love. I'm searching for a real love. All right. That's, that's all you're gonna get. I am not Mary, but I love that song. Now, the funny thing is about that song, when you actually listen to the lyrics, Mary ain't find no real love, okay? She talks about the fact that she's searching for him and she thought he was the one, but then he told her that he wasn't the one. It's a mess, okay? She definitely didn't find real love. But I've always been intrigued by the idea of different types of love because there are different types of love, different ways that you feel for different people and what those different things mean. There are definitely eight types of love, but I'm really only gonna focus on four types of love. The four that I kind of grew up always knowing existed, but I'm interested just to kind of share with you what I found out you know about the names of the other eight now if there's one thing I know about people and things they will evolve and apparently there are more types of love that have been put out there now the ones that I remember growing up with were a little bit more like the basics so I remember agape love 
I remember storage love, I remember filial love, and eros love. Now I'm not saying what those are because those are the four that I want to get into a little bit more. However, there are four other types of love that I'll be honest, I did not know existed or that there were like actual names. I know they existed, but I didn't realize they had kind of like named them and made them a thing. So one is filativa love. That is self-love. Then there is mania. Ooh. That is all consuming love. I don't want any parts of that. There's pragma, which is love that lasts. And there's ludus, which is playful love or also thought of as puppy love. So those are, all of those make up the eight types of love. But I want to focus on four special types of love that have been around for all time. Not to say those other ones haven't, but that I have always just found very intriguing and very interesting to discuss. So most of us practice or exercise these four types of love, if not every day, at least probably more often than we realize. So love number one is storage love. Now storage love is probably, probably the first love, hopefully that you would know, and that is family love for parents, siblings, relatives. You know, when you first have that baby and you bring them home, they're experiencing that storage love or when you're growing up with your siblings or growing up with your parents, hopefully you have good relationships with them, but you're experiencing that storage love between actual families. Um, and that's a very, very special love. And I feel extremely blessed that I am a recipient of that love, recipient of that love on a regular basis. Now, the next kind of love that you will experience is Philia love, and that is brotherly love, and normally for friends, neighbors, people in general, I would say that's also a love that you hopefully experience very early on too, because that's kind of the love that you would have for a friend. You know, when you're on the playground, you meet that special person that's your best friend forever, that you probably don't talk about or talk to anymore. Even though some people might, I don't have any friends from kindergarten, unfortunately. Well, for some people, especially as they get older, they may not actually talk to their family members as much, some, but they will definitely hopefully talk to friends very often because many times friends become family and you choose your friends. So you actually enjoy many times talking to them on a regular basis. So that's filial love. Now this next love is probably the love that Valentine's Day is probably wrapped around most and that is Eros love or that romantic love. That love that goes a lot deeper that makes you decide I want to be with this person. I want this person to be a part of my life. I want to marry this person. I want to live out dreams with this person. Eros love or romantic love is a very very beautiful thing as long as it's not toxic and crazy like mania love. <laughs> And last but not least is agape love. And that is known as God's unconditional love for us, but we're also challenged to have that sort of agape love for others. Now, truth be told, the only one that can actually have that type of love in the most perfect way possible is going to be God. Or in, in my case, I would say Jesus. He sacrificed everything for us and he gave that true agape love. In fact, in the Bible, it talks about the fact that that love, real love, is when someone's willing to lay down their lives. And while many people do and are willing to, um, he actually did it. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's a love that we can aspire to, that beautiful, godly, just unconditional agape love. Now, there's one thing that I know for sure, and I've seen reports about it, I've read articles about it, I've read books about it, is that no matter who you are, no matter how big or bad you think you are, how old you are, how young you are, everybody needs love. Love is something that is so important and it is vital for survival. People need to feel loved by someone or something. I think for some people, that's why pets are so important, especially if they're loners or maybe they live on their own. Um, pets can bring a lot of love. They may not be able to have real life conversations with you, but they can still show a lot of love. But that is the one thing that is known for sure is that human beings need love to really thrive in this life. They may be able to survive, but they aren't able to really thrive. But the one thing that I know for sure is that even if you don't find the storage love, the philia love, the um, eros love, the agape love is always very tangible and available for you. And many times you don't even have to find it. It's already there just waiting for you to accept it. So more than anything, be sure that you know that there is unconditional love out there for you. So what's this week's faith fact? 
you can't live without real love. Now, not the real love that my girl Mary J. Blige was talking about, even though I love that too, but real love, the type of love that really, really just goes beyond time, goes beyond what we can imagine, goes beyond what we think. And I think even though we can experience love here on earth, I think the love that we experience with God is a love that it, it just tr transcends everything. It's beyond us. Um, and if we will just seek him and seek to have a relationship with him and to know who he is or accept him and know that he is always there for us. Because ultimately, that is the real, real love. All right, hopefully I made you all feel lovely and gushy and warm <laughs> inside and hopefully ready to call somebody that you love and let them know just how much you love them. Well, that is it for this week's episode. Again, if it is your first time watching, I hope that you enjoy this episode, but I hope that you will subscribe, that you will follow me on all things social media at Shanice Speaks Now and that you will join the Faith Fam so that you can be sure to catch any episode that I ever have here on my Shanice Speaks now channel and again you all can listen to this so if you can't watch me you can listen to it via podcast at the shinny speaks now podcast where you can just click and listen you know while you're driving in your car while you're running while you're walking whatever you want to do you can listen to it so i'm excited about that all right you all well i hope that you all have a lovely let's see what i did a lovely <laughs> weekend ahead whatever you do have fun and definitely show love to those that come in contact with you all right if you don't do it for you do it for me well you know how we end this podcast with the motto always keep the faith and let the lord fight your battles until next time i love y'all take care peace thanks for watching faith fam be sure to subscribe share and like this episode and i'll see you back on my channel soon